OnlyFans, a big growing company, proudly showed off their new policy to ban adult content on their platform. They were confident that they would still be able to arouse their audience's interest, but after they snickered and laughed at OnlyFans' performance, they decided to start leaving the platform and taking their assets with them. OnlyFans became nervous that they wouldn't be able to finish all that they had intended to do. And in the end, OnlyFans had to pull out their plans to change their policies in a last ditch effort to keep their audience coming. This has been a synopsis of the epic tale that has been unfolding lately involving uh, the platform OnlyFans. Hello, my name is Lord Batora, and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it now. I feel like I have to state first and foremost, I am far from the first person who has been covering this, but it is a trending kind of hot topic. Uh, I've already seen a couple videos of other YouTubers who've covered it, and uh, like uh, Critical and uh, some ordinary gamers, Muda has covered it. And this is one of the funniest situations that, in recent observation anyway. So there just seems to be, in general, a complete detachment from companies and knowing what they are and, like, the services that they provide and their audiences and who they're, like, catering to. There just seems to be... Uh, a detachment there logically. Now I'm gonna go go back a couple steps for anyone who doesn't know or who isn't uh, very active into online circles with uh, YouTube or anything like that who may not know what OnlyFans is. Now let me read to you right off of their Twitter, their Twitter profile. OnlyFans is a subscription social platform revolutionizing creator and fan relationships. And then that, that's all they really say, then they have some support links and what not. Now, what, how OnlyFans operates is its functions kind of like if anyone knows what Patreon is, it's a similar concept to that, where if you are a creator of any sort, you can create content and then basically put a paywall on it, where if an individual so desires, they can subscribe for a monthly fee, and then they'll access those levels of content. So for an example, if I was to draw pictures, art, commissions, or anything like that, and I would be like, hey, for one dollar a month you get access to my rough drafts before I officially release the art or something like that. That's the concept. You would get an incentive to subscribe. So it functions the same way as Patreon for the most part. Now, where the big difference is, however, is OnlyFans has allowed adult content from the get-go, to my understanding. I'm talking about pornography for the most part. Uh, that's the main difference. Actually, I'm not sure about Patreon's policies. I'd have to double-check, but I, I don't think that they allow it. That, that's essentially the, the difference. And just going by how the internet works, of course, that means they completely hijacked OnlyFans to the point where OnlyFans became completely synonymous with it. So when anyone talked about OnlyFans, hey, I'm making an OnlyFans, you immediately come to the, the impression that they're going to be uploading at the very minimum sexy pictures. At the very least, that's what I'm trying to get at. Now, a little while ago, for those of you who have missed it or who don't watch any of the other YouTubers, OnlyFans has decided recently to ban adult content from their platform. Now, this, as f from a company standpoint, was one of the stupidest and most hilarious things that I have ever heard of. It was took the world completely off guard because that was borderline all that there was on OnlyFans. It was basically everything. That's what the creators went there to upload for the most part. Um, there, I'm sure there's an odd couple here and there that did other things, which is also to the, the only thing that's kind of like to OnlyFans defense in the first place is it doesn't look like they were intentionally made in the first place to be just adult content oriented. Um, 
if you went and looked at their uh, advertising and stuff like that, even if you go now and look at it, if you go to their Twitter and scroll down, uh, they try to present a far more professional, uh, I, I say professional as in a creative environment, as if it's like, oh, we've got all the musicians and it's, it would be like YouTube where it's like we've got all these people covering a vast number of topics, but it's just not the case. And any everyone knows it. So they, they basically just completely self-sabotage themselves by getting rid of the vast majority of what was on there of, as far as their creators go. And to literally no one's surprise, all of the those content creators, all of the, the adult creators, left. <laughs> It's not surprising, and they took all the money with them. So now, OnlyFans lost all of their content and all of their uh, revenue. If we look at a couple of tweets now, what could have caused that? Why would a company who is literally nothing but adult content decide to ban adult content in order to move away from it? Uh, and thinking that that's a, a viable option. So financially. Um, we read a couple of their tweets. Their, one of their announcements they have, it said, Dear Sex Workers, the OnlyFans community would not be what it is today without you. The policy change was necessary to secure banking and payment services to support you. We are working around the clock to come up with solutions. So first off, that doesn't make any sense because how are you going to support them when you're banning what they're doing in the first place? Like, no one's going to come to your platform for anything outside of the adult content that they were producing. That's why the audience was there at all. And it just doesn't make any sense. You're securing payment for something that you're not going to be having any buyers for anymore. So now that went on for about a week. It's, I think it's technically been about four days since they put, or uploaded that tweet. But now, just a handful of hours ago, they did another tweet that said, Thank you for everyone for making your voices heard. We have secured assurances necessary to support our diverse creator community and have suspended the planned October 1st policy change. OnlyFans stands for inclusion, and we will continue to provide a home for all creators. Now, they really quickly decided to backpedal from what they decided to do. Um, and in all honesty, it's just a silly step to begin with. Them banning adult content is the same thing as if you're going to Taco Bell, Taco Bell announced that, hey, we decided that we're not selling tacos anymore. We're not selling tacos and taco related things. From now on, you can just get coffee, our breakfasts, foods, and uh, our, our fries, but those are limited edition, so uh, you, you don't even get those. And, and that's it. That's They expect to thrive off of just those products and get rid of all of their gorditas and all of their uh, chalupas and all the tacos. They just get rid of it all and then are surprised when all of a sudden no one's going to Taco Bell because they're not selling tacos anymore. That's basically the situation. So they decide to backpedal and now I, I do find it funny because apparently this, if you're to believe their tweets, um, it had to do with them not being able to secure payments via, from like Visa and MasterCard or something like that if they didn't change their platform. But all of a sudden it's okay, never mind. So it, it's just a very odd uh, change of mind. It's very sudden. It seemed pretty quick for them to be able to just backtrack and say, yeah, it's actually fine. It's a lot of unnecessary drama and you, you definitely... Uh, injured yourself on the process so at, at this point too um a lot of the content creators are going to just basically all the rip-off competitor sites and stuff so i'm sure there'll be a lot of people still going to only fans but it's unlikely that they're only going to use only fans because now you, they, there's a lot less confidence in the website after they pull a stunt like that um it, it's very funny if you ask me that they would even attempt to do something like that and then behave surprised when everyone's leaving. It's like, did you? were you unaware? How can you be so unaware as to what 99% of your content on your platform is? That's the situation. That's what happens. We had a company 
that decided to stop providing the only thing that people were showing up for and then was surprised when nobody showed up. And that's the situation. It's just funny. I don't know how you could even attempt to make that decision and go public with it and not expect you to just lose everything. And so they, they definitely just injured themselves throughout the course of that. Um, so that's what happened. Uh, I find it hilarious. I've been just sitting over here laughing at the entirety of the situation from start to finish. And uh, I just wanted to share that because it, I, I don't know. It, there's something hilarious about companies who just completely fall flat on their faces. Just complete out of touch as to what they are and who they're working with. So that that's it. I, I guess I'll leave it off at that. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Smash like for hilarity like this. And uh, please consider sharing the video with family member or friend. It helps grow the channel. And there's also merch linked in the description below. And, uh, you know, get 100 likes on this video. And who knows, maybe we'll open an OnlyFans for you guys there. It'll be great, I promise. It'll be great for, you know, uh, cooking videos and... Uh, maybe music or something like that because that's what uh, OnlyFans thinks its primary content is apparently. So I hope you have an excellent day or night whatever time you're watching this. Bye bye!